Problem number one says, Nance drew the diagram shown to help her classify four figures. Which of the figures in the diagram does not have two pairs of parallel sides? And they give us space to draw all four of these. Parallelogram, rhombus, trapezoid, rectangle. So let's go ahead and start off by drawing the parallelogram. Again, that one's not too tough. Start off by drawing the bottom line. Then we're going to continue almost like if we were going to draw a rectangle, but instead of making straight up and down lines, we're going to make diagonal lines. And then connect up. So there's a parallelogram. A rhombus looks like the diamonds on the playing cards. A trapezoid, you can think of again, you can do it this way if you want. You draw yourself a triangle and then you just get rid of the top part. And the last shape is a rectangle. They want a shape that does not have two pairs of parallel sides. Out of these four shapes, who can tell me which one is the shape that does not have two pairs of parallel sides? Most of these shapes have, par have two parallel sides, but one of them does not. Kaylee, which is the one that doesn't have two sets of parallel sides? Trapezoid. The trapezoid. The parallelogram has the left and the right, the top and the bottom. The rhombus, has, it's a little bit tougher with this one, but got two sets of left and right. The rectangle has the top and the bottom, the left and the side. But the trapezoid only has one pair of parallel sides, top and the bottom. The other set of, of sides are not parallel. Trapezoid, put a check mark there. And the other ones, I'm going to put X. Because all my other shapes have two pairs of parallel sides. Question two says, which statement about a rectangle is not true? The good thing is I have a rectangle drawn right here. I can take a look at this. Answer choice A, opposite sides are parallel. So that means top and bottom, left and right. Okay, Bella, that's all right. If you have an answer, and uh, like if I call on you or if you have a question, you can just put it into the chat, okay? Okay. So are the opposite sides of a rectangle parallel? Is the top and bottom parallel? Are the left and right parallel? Yeah. Top and the bottom are parallel. And the right are parallel. So this one's true. Put a T. B, all angles are congruent. There's that word again, congruent. What does congruent mean? It means two things. Alexa? Sorry, I forgot. Okay, who can tell me? What are the two things that congruent means? Kylie? The same in shape and size. Same shape and the same size. All the angles on a rectangle are all right angles. So, yeah, they would be congruent. They'd be the same size because they're all right angles. They'd be the same shape because they're all right angles. 
So that's true. Answer choice C. All sides are congruent. Are all the sides of a rectangle the same size and the same shape? Noah? Are all the sides on a rectangle the same size and the same shape? Yes. So this top side is the same size and the same shape as the left side? Um, no. Sorry. So one of them are longer, right? The top and the bottom, in this case, are longer than the left and the right. Even though they're all straight lines, so they're the same shape, they're not the same size. This one is false. D, all four angles are right angles. Yeah, that's one of the rules for a rectangle. A rectangle has to have right angles. Has to. That's also true. There's only one answer choice that was not true, and that would be answer choice Question three, Joel cut a banner in the shape of the figure below. Go team. Which statement about the banner that Joel cut is true? So again, something we're looking for true and false. F says the figure is an acute triangle. Well, to figure that out, I have to measure the angles, see what kind of angle we have. I'm going to start with the top angle. I'm going to see if I can match my sticky note to the corner. And I can't. My angle is too small. Sticky note won't fit. What type of angle do I have if the angle is too small for the sticky note? Bradley, what kind of angle would this be? An acute angle. This is an acute angle. Let me try this next angle. I'm going to try to match my sticky note. Well, this time the sticky note fits in the angle, but one of the sides is sticking out off to the side. Who can tell me what kind of angle do I have if one side of my angle is sticking out? Alexa? A up two obtuse angle okay, there's an obtuse angle let me check the last one got another angle that is too small my sticky note doesn't fit bradley told me earlier that that is an acute angle so i've got two acute angles and i've got one obtuse angle if i have two acute angles and one obtuse angle is this triangle an acute triangle? Kaylee, I see you shaking your head. What kind of triangle is this? Um, I don't know. I forgot. I will tell you that you're right. It's not an acute triangle. What's the name? What do we call a triangle that has two acute angles, one obtuse angle? Ezekiel? An obtuse triangle. We call it an obtuse triangle, not an acute triangle. This is false. G, the figure is a right triangle. Ezekiel just told us. If it has an obtuse angle, it's an obtuse triangle, not a right triangle. This one's also false. H, the figure is a quadrilateral. What was a quadrilateral again? Alexa, what's a quadrilateral? 
A quadrilateral is something that has four sides. Got four sides. Alexa, does this have four sides to it? No. No. That's also false. The figure is an obtuse triangle. That's the one Ezekiel said. True. There's only one answer choice that was true, and that was answer choice. Okay.